Well, I definitely think it opened people's hearts and hearts and minds, you know, to seeing that, that same-sex relationships are no different than other relationships. We knew this guy from Australia. New Zealand. Same thing. He didn't have a lot of friends and we felt sorry for him, but the truth is he was kind of annoying. He was one of those guys that was always on. We don't have a political agenda, we have an agenda to make people laugh. And I think we do a good job of that. And when people laugh, their, their minds are opened up to see different things and different perspectives. And I get a smile? That's great. I like this one, that's great. Can we see your face? Big relief when his visa ran out. Anyway, through no fault of my own. Wait, no, I wait. You announced on Facebook that we were going to Australia, which is where he lives. Fergus invited us to lunch. I couldn't say no. I could have said no. Which is why you have 12 friends on Facebook. You know, I can only say what I've been told by individuals on the street, which is uh, you made it easier for me to come out to my parents or parents saying to me, I understood my son or daughter more because of the re relationship of Mitch and Cam, which is a great privilege and a great honor. Well, I knew that from the beginning of the show they wanted Mitch and Cam to be married, and with the overtur overturning of Prop 8 last year in California, that, that that sort of paved the way to tell a, a true and honest story of Mitch and Cam getting engaged. It's, someday it's not going to be a courageous act to come out and say, yes, I'm gay and I play football. I mean, right now it is a courageous act because there are people that don't necessarily believe that he should be in the NFL or be in a locker room or something like that. Uh, but eventually it's not going to be considered courageous because it's going to be common and it's not going to be taboo or any, people aren't going to feel like they have to be closeted or, or keep their sexuality a secret because of what other people's opinions are. Time, times are changing and, and, you know, Jason Collins, Michael Sams, those guys that have come out uh, are most definitely having an impact with society. It's okay to be who you are, uh, whether you're gay, straight, black or white, it's okay to be comfortable in your own skin. And I think he'll prove himself on the football field. He can play football if he has a passion for the game. I think the St. Louis Rams were smart to draft him. I think it's awesome that they gave him the opportunity and you know, football's a great sport in that way. You work hard, you put in the hard work, and you prove what kind of football player you are. We know what kind of man he is. He's a great man and he's a true inspiration, but now it comes down to whether he can play at the NFL level. Guess what? Not everybody can play in the NFL.